Um, and this is like relatability. Now, relatability includes things like of a similar culture. Um, you're much like the person, so relatability. And then there's activity. And what else? Hmm, this is gonna sound bad, but um attractiveness. So I think I think when people are picking a streamer or like somebody that they want to watch like regularly, um, they're looking for these three things, I think. And they're looking for them in like in like different ratios based on what the based on the reason they might be watching a streamer, right? So um, for horny gooners, <laughs> like, like, let's suppose, let's just give these some colors. Okay. So for horny gooners, um, I think attractiveness is like really, really high. Um, and they don't care so much about the activity. So, so this is, so this is the gooner chart. But, but the relatability, um, the relatability and attractiveness is sort of like, they, they can go hand in hand. So relatability is like here. And this is the Guna chart. But for people who aren't horny Gunas. Actually, I don't need to... I just need another XY-axis. I think... For the, um... For the tourists? So, t tourists are people who, like... They come in and they and they, they just want to sort of, like, check out various streamers and they're like, Oh, I wonder who's on. I wonder, I wonder who's interesting right now. Um, they look mostly for the activity. Right? They look mostly for the activity. Um, relatability, they're, they're, like, they don't know you yet. They have no idea who the hell you are. So, relatability is like, they're not here for relatability right now. They, they're not, they're not bought into your content yet. And attractiveness, oops. No, that should be like that. And attractiveness... Damn it. All right. I think attractiveness is like a little bit higher because if you if you're an attractive person, you're more likely to attract a tourist. Yeah. And then for um core audience. So core audience, uh, the, so Guna chart, the, so, so the Gunas are here because they want to have sex with you. The tourists are here because you're, you're doing something interesting right now. And the last category I think of watches is um, the core audience. And core audience, the reason the core audience is here is because they just like you. They, 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 they just think you're a cool person. Um, so for core audience, relatability is super, super important. Activity is not so important. Um, and attractiveness, I don't really know. I think if I, I think attractiveness. Oh wait, sorry. I got the colors mixed up. So activity. Oh no. Yeah. So activity is activity is not so important, and attractiveness, I think, is. Um, I think attractiveness is probably the least important for your core audience. Because people, people will literally watch like a person, a person, a person that looks like a toad. <laughs> if like if that person's really friendly and like if the person's really friendly and like like they get along with them and like they feel like they're friends with the streamer, then like they'll watch it like e even if it's a, like like a ham sandwich. Um, and so so this, this is why I think this is why in my. 
In my estimation, I think this is why people watch streamers and like like what they what the different audiences get out of it. <laughs> the goon squad. <laughs> why is that gooning on my screen? Let's look, Saris. <laughs> I was doing what's what's otherwise known as a a very interesting ramble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, um, so Sully, I, I think so. I think what 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 generally happens is that, um, like discovery is a discovery is a very interesting process, and it, like discovery is very individual for each um for each person, basically, like. Almost everybody either starts as a tourist or as a gooner. Like, for example, for example, if you if you log in and and you, to YouTube.com and and you go watch um, Sarah's fauna, I have to make sure a safe search is on. So let's suppose. Let's suppose you're on YouTube.com and randomly on your home screen is this little semen demon here. So so you might go and it's like, holy shit, she's really cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go watch this anime girl. And, and you start off in, in the RR squad and, and you're like, oh my god. So uh, uh, Sarah's fa fauna. She she like she she tickles she tickles my gym jams. But then after a while, what happens is what happens is the Guna, the Guna or the tourist. So, like, for me, a tourism would be, say, um, who was I a tourist of? I was a tourist of Mime. Now, don't get me wrong, Mime is cute, but. She ain't no serious foreigner, is all I'm saying. So I was a tourist of Mimei, because, like, I was sort of interested, because she's doing, like, a bunch of art streams. I'm like, oh, I, you know, I like art. That's cool. And effectively, what happened to me is, like, I discovered them through these channels. And then, if I watch, if I watch between three and five streams of them in, in, in a month, then I start to like the personalities like other than what they uh, other than what what they initially gave me and i sort of convert i convert over to here where it starts to it starts to be the case where no matter what no matter what they do um you know i'm i i'm sort of i'm sort of interested in them no, like no matter what and and so i i convert over to core to core audience after a while Absolutely, absolutely, Canatan. My schedule, um, Canatan, just so you know, is because I, I understand, like, like, like my, my schedule seems like on, 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 and and then I like disappear and you don't hear from me. So this is my general schedule. Um, so I, I I'm live on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I may or may not be live Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay. So, so this is generally this is generally like like what you'll find me doing. And today the gaming series is Toho Lunar Nights. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey Sully, maybe you were in the Goon Squad if you liked my voice. <laughs> but yeah, like I I know it's like I know it's like maybe insulting to to call this the Goon Squad, but it, it's like you like something you like something about the streamer that has nothing to do with what they're doing and nothing to do sorry nothing to do with what they're doing and nothing to do with who they are. Um, and, and that makes you a that makes you a gooner. So if you're just here because you liked my voice, then um, <laughs> you, you were here. <laughs> but if you if you were here because like you liked a, you liked a piano piece I was playing, well, well then you're probably you probably started out as a tourist. Um, and after a while, you know, you're just, you just you zooped on over to core audience, and, and hey, here we are. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, if you say things like "I'm I'm witty and funny," or, or like you you like my personality, um, that means you're you're getting more out of the the relatability aspect rather than rather than rather than anything else. 
that's just my opinion, by the way. Uh, I'm not a 